Guys, how you doing? Welcome to JP's On Demand Virtual Workouts. Tonight's workout is No Mercy, which is a bodyweight only workout. Six exercises, 40 seconds on each exercise, 20 seconds to get to the next, and we're doing it for a total of five rounds. Right, let's get you warmed up. Toes pointing forward, three points of contact. So you're pushing the ball of your foot into the floor, just below your pinky and your heel. You want the weight through the mid portion of that of your foot. Now soften your knees, thighs, glutes, and then 360 degrees of tension around your abdominals. Take in a deep breath, rotate your arms and reach to the roof and then turn your palms and get to the bottom. Let's continue this motion for 15 reps. So I hope you're ready for tonight. Tonight is going to be a little bit crispy. Make sure you're keeping your, your feet nice and rooted, your thighs, glutes and cores engaged the whole way through this movement. Three more to go. So the arms are rotating in and then turning out as you go down. Last one. Now keep your left foot on the floor, still weight through the mid portion. Thigh and glute engaged so you glitch your bum tension again and then step forward and back. Try and keep this leg nice and still and then you can start to integrate the arms with the legs. So this is a hip activation drill but it also mimics your walking cycle which is also known as gait. If you find that hard to coordinate your arms with the legs, slow the, mo the movement down or you can take out the arms altogether. Okay, change sides. Make sure you're starting from the ground first. Root your foot, thigh and glute engaged, and then start your movement. Now you should start to feel when you do this long enough, a little bit of heat forming into this hip area. Again, we're just getting the brain and the body working together. Four more to go. Okay, last one. Feet just downside the hips, thighs, glutes, and then abdominals engaged again. Let's get the arms up, rotate from your hips, let your feet and let your arms follow. So tonight's workout is exactly 30 minutes. We've got the timer to my right hand side there. So you can keep an eye on the clock. Make sure I'm not cheating you out of time. But don't worry, I'll not be taking time away. No doubt I'll be adding it. 10 more to go. Notice I'm keeping my abdominals braced the whole time throughout this movement. Moving from the hips. Three, two, one. Okay, let's get the timer started and we are good to go. Okay, so after showing you each exercise, I will show, show you an alternative if I feel you maybe need a regression or even a progression. So the first movement we're going to do today is a reverse burpee to jump. So we're just gonna listen to listen for the the beep and we're good to go. So what I want to do is get ready by being in your squat position. Get nice and low. So squatting with a slight hinge, hands to the floor. Come out to your full plank with your thighs, your glutes and cores engaged. Then bring yourself back to the start. Before I jump, I'm going to just let my shoulders pack down into my back pockets and then drive up from the thighs, the glutes, and reach up. When you land, land soft. Bend at the knees, hinge a little bit more at the hips. Hands come close to the floor. Come out to your full plank position. Come back to the start. Before I jump, I'm going to straighten my back. Reach. Same again.
Now, when I'm jumping, notice. Yeah. Okay, second exercise is a hamstring walkout. If you have sliders, you can use these as well. So lie on your back, feet hip width apart, abdominals or ribcage pulled down, chin tucked slightly, extend the hips so the glutes are nice and tight, so your bum. And then I want you to walk forward with the feet and then come back to the start. Now three out, keep your glutes and keep your abdominals engaged. Now try and have as little movement as possible from your hips. So you just might have to take shorter steps, which is perfectly fine. Tight, tight. Okay, very good. Flip round. What we're going to do next, we're going to go into a plank position and then we're going to do a hand, shoulder, and then toe touch. So your toe touch, you're going to be in a, roughly a downward dog position. So we'll start in the full plank. Hands, shoulders. Now when I'm coming back to reach for the toe, hips go up into the air, legs are nice and straight, and then reach. Come back to your plank. Same again. Hands, shoulders, and then toe. If you can't reach the toe, don't worry about it. I would just aim for the hips if you want to. If you need to drop to the knees, that's perfectly fine as well. So crossing over the body. Okay, next exercise, I'm gonna do a skateboard squat hop jump thing. I don't even know the name of it, terrible. Hope nobody's watching that invented it. So, pick your preferred squat position. So, go as low as you feel comfortable going to, but your spine can stay fixed. And then, what is reason I'm calling it a skateboard, I can imagine I'm like this, or I could be a surfboard. So when I'm landing, feet are rooted, spreading the floor. Again, if you find it too hard with jumping, again, I can't see you squatting. Focus on learning your squat pattern. If you find it a wee bit too tough on the knees, obviously, if I could see one in one, I may be able to correct that. Right, next, TWIA. Feet hip width apart. Root those feet in. Then fold the hips. I set the hands directly under the shoulders. Then you're going to go into a T movement. So back of the shoulders, upper back. Then we're going to go into a Y. W. And then A. So tight. Tension. And you want to be keeping the hips tight here as well. That's what's helping you hinge forward. Back of the shoulders, upper back. And back of the shoulders and kind of lower, what's called trapezius. Okay, next, double crunch. So, hardest version first. Bring, the knee, bring your feet off the floor, 90 degrees at the knees, arms back, and legs straighten out. Now, keep that in this hollowed position. When you come up to the start position, bend it the legs, and then bring your arms to your sides, bringing the shoulder blades off the floor, and then rib cage as close to the front of the pelvis. Keep your abdominals braced and back, and come back up. If that's too challenging, you can work on the upper portion of the movement while keeping here nice and fixed. 
Notice I'm not jerking up with the neck. I'm trying to keep an egg distance between the chin and the collarbone. Going down, glutes, thighs. And that's you. Okay, back to exercise number one, which is the reverse burpee hop. So if you want to be fruity here, you can add in a push up at the bottom. Right, so prefer squat position, then you're squatting, and then a little bit more hinge here, or basically deadlift position. Then come forward, if you want to add your push up in, and come back. Notice I'm changing my hand and foot position when I get to here. Okay, hamstring walkouts next. Same again, braced, tucked, extend the hips up. So I'm not only engaging my glutes and my core here, push my thighs together as well. I want as much stability at the pelvis as possible while I straighten the legs out. If you find that too challenging going out, maybe just go as far as you feel comfortable going to, or you can just hold your static bridge position, or you can even just do hip bridges. If you're going to do that, I would just plant your feet. Okay, hand, shoulder, toe touch. Again, when you're doing this, if you find it too challenging to have your knees up all the time, you can put them down for certain parts. You can even spend a couple of seconds here and your full plank. Or you can drop to the knees here. Notice I'm on my knees, I'm not like this. Back of the legs, bum and core still engaged. Correct, nail and plank. And then you can come up into your full. I want to reach. It's up to you. Wherever you feel most comfortable, you're getting the most challenge in the safest, most efficient way. Very good, very good. Okay, next. Skate squat, skateboard squat. Made up squat, I don't know. So again, if you don't like jumping, you don't need to jump. Just practice on your practice your squats, air squats. If you've got some weights, dumbbell squat. Right, nobody's forcing you to do things you don't want to do. What I would suggest though is pick an exercise that's challenging you. Notice that I'm absorbing my weight into the floor before I jump. I'm gonna just nice and soft drive. Make sure when you're driving through your thighs, get your bum involved. Always make sure that your thighs are matching the line of your foot. So where your thighs are going, even if they're going here, make sure your thighs are matching the line, the alignment, sorry. Right, TWIA. So start explaining the different parts of the muscles. This, this exercise hits, but I'd be here forever. So, think back and shoulders, upper back. Come back down, back and shoulders again, upper back. Here, more back and shoulders, mid portion of back, and then more mid lats. Here. There.
Okay. Double crunch next. So start with the hands direct above the shoulders, 90 degrees at the knees and hips. And feet. Okay. Make sure this is nice and brace so you get tension through here. Notice my breathing as well. In going back. Exhale coming up. Very good. Okay, back to that reverse burpee, and you can add in a push up as well if you'd like. I think you've got it, and you need to add the push up. If you need to drop to your knees to do the push up as well, perfectly fine. Okay, so squat with a slight bit more hinge, hands close to the floor. Finish that rep. Okay. Hamstring walkouts next. Make sure you focus on your breath between sets. Breathe in from the nose, not from your mouth. Okay. Hips up. So I'm not just squeezing here, push in here as well. You can get some tension through the inside of the thighs as well. Quite like that little pause at the bottom. I actually think I'm giving myself a wee rest here. Very good. Okay, hand, shoulder, toe touch. Okay, let's go. So hips go up, see that? Back of the legs. Nice and straight, plant my heels as close to the floor as I can. So I'm pushing myself away from the floor here. See that? squats. Right, let's go. So, hands as well, create some tension, shoulders are packed. Let the legs do all the movement. Notice how I'm landing. Yeah, thighs are all over the line of my foot. And you're slightly out past the middle toe. Whew. 
Holy moly. T-Y-W-A. Big deep breaths. Fill the ribs with air. Right into the back. Okay. T. W. Y. W. A. Try and get your upper body as parallel to the floor as you can. Just make sure your back's nice and straight. So if you need to come here, that's perfectly fine. Double crunch. Make sure you set your brace. So you're creating an abdominal tension abdominals. abdominals. My apologies before you start to start the movement. Again, it's too challenging. Focus on that position. Here I push my thighs together through as well. Okay, next, back to exercise number one. Reverse burpee, and if you dare, add in a push-up. Let's go. Okay. Very good. Hamstring walkouts next. How are you feeling? Toasty. I hope they're working as hard as me. So still tension through your abdominals. All the way down. Oh, I should have finished that rep there. Okay, hand, shoulder, toe touch. Yourself tuned in, get yourself ready. Full plank. So, as little swinging as possible. No swingers in the audience, please. So, none of us. Okay, get yourself in.
very good. Skateboard squats. Right, I've decided we're calling it that. Skateboard squats. Or maybe skateboard squat jumps. I'll let you decide in the comments section below. We're calling the burny things. I don't know. on your breath. I think myself, where's that timer? I think I did 31 there. Whew. TYWA. Whew. Okay, feet hip width apart. Soft knees, fold at those hips. Whew. Y, W. Nearly done. Two and one. I forgot to mention to you, this is on a 60 second timer. So it repeats every 60 seconds. So at 20 seconds, can't believe I'm just telling you this. At 20 seconds, we're ready to go. Double crunch. So I'm bringing those arms down to my sides, push my shoulders into my armpits. That nice tucked position at the top. Finish that rep. Last round, ladies and gents. Ten seconds. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Two, one, let's go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Well done. Hamstring walkouts. I got a drink of water first. Now I know I've got ten seconds left. Five seconds. Three, two. One, let's go. Hands on those hips. I'm only kidding, you don't have to.
holy moly, guacamole. Okay, hands, shoulders, toe touch. What a difference, knowing that there's only five seconds to go. It's a shame all our other workouts didn't run on a 60 second timer. Okay, let's go. Hands, shoulders, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Skateboard squat, my thing, squat my things. I hope he's a breaking a sweat. Because you burn more calories when you're warmer. I'm all kidding. I'm joking. seconds four three two and one tywe next five seconds Upwards, soft knees, fold the hips. Nice, neutral spine. Not too here, not too duck butt, somewhere in the middle. Fifteen. Two, and very good. Okay, double crunch to finish. 10 seconds. Okay, start with the knees close to the body and feet off the floor, hands above, shoulders, abdominals braced, thighs together, glutes tight, thighs tight, then come back up. Top, egg distance still, rib cage close to the pelvis, push those fingertips forward, packing your shoulders into the armpits. Ten seconds to go. Four, three, two, finish that rep. Well done, ladies and gents. So that was no mercy tonight. Six exercises, five rounds, 40 seconds on each, 20 second rest in between, no equipment required. Hope you all enjoyed that tonight for your first class of the week. Tomorrow, if you're watching this live as Asanabs, if you're watching it back on YouTube and our playlist, Asanabs is a Tuesday night and No Mercy is live on a Monday night for the time being. Take care folks, good night, have a wonderful day and night. See ya. <laughs>